Apple just released iOS 10 Beta 5. Here's what's changed. So as we get closer to the official release of iOS 10, the amount of changes we see gets smaller. But here are five things that are different in Beta 5. First off are the smaller fixes and changes, and one in specific is face recognition. In Beta 5, Apple is re-scanning all of your images, so if you went through and organized everything, all that data is going to be replaced. Also, there's other bug fixes, like the smart battery case causing issues. This should be fixed in Beta 5. Another change is in the widget view. In Beta 4, Apple added the date to the widgets panel in the notification center, but now the date is also in the widgets panel access from the home screen, along with darker third-party widgets. Another change is in the control center. The icons in the music panel have been slightly tweaked, along with a new output icon, which you can see system-wide, like in Apple Music. In settings, the home section on the iPhone has been removed, although it still remains on the iPad. And finally, the biggest change in Beta 5 is a new lock sound. Now there's a completely different sound, almost like closing a door. But those are five changes in iOS 10 Beta 5. We're getting near the end of the beta stage of iOS 10, so the changes are becoming smaller. But be sure to stay tuned to MacRumors.com for the latest on iOS 10, including its official release in the fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to see when new videos are out. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.